today's an exciting day. We are going to be officially starting our seeds. We are about 10 weeks away from our frost date, so I have a ton of seed packets that are ready to be sewed into our dirt. Before I go ahead and plant anything though, I'm going to make my labels for all of my seeds. That way when I have my little helpers and we're planting our seeds, nothing gets confused. So I'm gonna go ahead and just write down everything that I have on our little tags with a Sharpie, and then we will go from there. Are you ready to do some seeds today? Yes, because I'm so excited! We have been impatiently waiting for this day to come. We have been counting down the weeks for our first date and waiting until it was the right time, and we are finally here. In the last video, we discussed everything that we are going to be using to start our seeds, so if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. Uh -huh. And right now, we're gonna go ahead and write our labels. This is the only one pack of labels. Because that looks like a lot of weight. I think Peter could use one pack. Are you going to use those for pebbles? I think you should use that for pebbles. Okay, so here are all of our seed packets that we're going to be doing for the 8 to 10 weeks before our frost date. And then I have all of our labels on these little things here created. And I'm going to be doing a mixture of uh, planting the seeds in these trays here. They are a 12 cell seed tray. And then I'm also going to be using these cups and planting like our peppers and our tomatoes, our larger items in here. So, we are going to go ahead and open up our peat moss and one of our seed starting mixes because we're gonna, we're gonna do a combination to see which one performs better this time and start filling. So if you didn't watch our last video about our supplies, I am going to be doing a pure peat moss for our soil for starting our seeds. It was a much more affordable option than going and doing all of these Jiffy Seed Start mixes. So I'm gonna see how well it performs. I'm still going to be doing one of these seed starting mixes just to see if there's a huge difference in the performance between the seeds. Um, just because I'm curious and I want to know for future years if it's worth going the cheaper route or if it's worth the investment in getting the seed starting mix. But from what I've heard from a lot of different gardeners is that really this is not completely necessary. You will get really good results doing other options. So we're going to try that out. I'm going to get this. This is our peat moss. I'm going to get this open and I'm going to get it wet first. That way it is more workable and then we'll start putting it in our containers. So I'm gonna get my helper because I know she's gonna like this part of getting messy. I really don't recommend doing it in the middle of your home, but we don't have another option right now. Hopefully one day we will have like a little potting shed, a greenhouse, but for now, we'll just do it here and go with it. So I'm gonna use just one of these big planters as my like filling bucket. A lot of people do like tubs or stuff like that. And anything really just that you can hold your soil will be good for. Hey mom, I have a question. What do we put, what, what do we do with these? While I get the dirt, I have Melina getting my trays together. This has been a much anticipated day in our household. I have been talking up our garden for a long time, so Melina is very excited to be a part of it and to get it going. We read a ton of gardening books and just dream about having one and taking care of it and the fun that we're going to learn. We'll just talk about everything that we're going to be learning. Well, I have all these, all these labels too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a little bit more. Alright, after this last scoop, I think we're good. I'm going to put some water in it and see how it does. And then we'll be starting to sow our seeds. <laughs> okay, yeah. this is what we have so far. Well, we able to make mud. You must. You want enough where it's all wet. You definitely need some more than that. I'm trying to get it wet enough where when I squeeze it, it forms, but I don't want it like soaking wet. So I'm just mixing it together to see how it is. Might have to add a little bit more soil because it feels a little too squishy. Doing that, I don't know. All right, I think we're gonna go with it how it is here, and let's see. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more soil into it because it does feel a little squishy still. So, while I was filling up my soil, someone decided to play in the peat moss. So it's a little bit all over my floor. That's okay though, right? Now that my soil is a good consistency, we're gonna go ahead and start filling some of our cups. 
Alright, we gotta fill it like this. where I'm placing all of my seeds. I've been having a hard time figuring out how many of each plant I want to plant. So that's been a little tricky in my head, but this is what I'm gonna go for right now. So I've decided to do two yellow peppers, two orange peppers, two red peppers, and then two of these little geranium kissed tomato plants. And then I'm also gonna do the same exact amount, but with the Jiffy Star Mix. I wanna see which performs better. And then I have my tray set up here. My broccoli, my flowers, my red onions, some jalapenos some green olives, and then I have some rosemary and thyme. So this is everything that needs to go out for the eight to 10 weeks before frost. I did have the Manitoba tomatoes on the list, but it actually says here from six to eight weeks, so I'm gonna hold off and do it uh, in a couple of weeks, that way it's not stuck in here for a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my seed, and I'm gonna start putting them in. So we're gonna put two seeds, at least two seeds, in each little pot here. Really so you're just going to put them right on top. Mm -hmm. Are they so tiny? Yes. Alright, go ahead and put two in. Yeah, this one. Pop. Yep. Now we need two in there. Okay. Alright. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and start doing my trays. This tray is going to be some of my flowers, it's going to be some broccoli and some red onion. These are so, so tiny. Those are some super tiny seeds. I do not like those. But I'm going to do six of those because these flowers are gorgeous and I'm really hoping to have quite a bit of them. Um, the only thing is, I hope that I did it the right way, because it does say that it takes 110 to 120 days to mature, which is quite a while, um, so we shall see how those turn out. Then I got some red onion seeds, but I also bought some bulbs of onions, so I'm just going to do three here, um, but we are a big onion family, so well, these are much better. I like it when the seeds are like this big, because I can actually see them that way. Now my broccoli. All of the seeds that I have purchased are so, are supposed to be really well for. Oh, I just put some broccoli seeds in here. That is not good. Oh my goodness. Anyways, all of my seeds are supposed to be really good for cooler temperatures. I'm gonna have broccoli growing in my tomatoes. I guess for future times, I'm gonna have to make sure things are farther away so if that happens and then I'm just going to go ahead and put a light cover of soil on top here next up is our green onions and some jalapeno peppers for us for our salsa okay and then lastly for today's seeds, we're going to do some thyme and some rosemary. Some more really, really tiny seeds. Get all the dirt off my hands so I don't mistake up the seeds. I think I'm just going to shake some in here. I don't know what seed and what's dirt. Okay, now at least I know that there are definitely some seeds in there, but it fell into the wrong little like, cubes, so and now I have this like weird shape, but it'll be it'll be alright. We'll figure it out. I just gotta remember that these over here are thyme, and these over here will be rosemary. Hi there. 
Are you gonna help me? Theo. So for any of the super small seeds, I kind of just did like a pinch of seeds to make sure that I got seeds in there, like especially the uh, time ones. They are so tiny that I couldn't really see how many are in there, so I just probably put like three or four. And then for this one, I'm just going to do a very, very thin layer of soil since the seeds are so small. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Jiffy Seed Starter Mix and fill some of these up with that. And I'm gonna do some more peppers and tomatoes just to see which one performs better. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing with this stuff. I'm gonna get a little bit wet and then I'm gonna start putting it in my containers. All right, so I measured out about eight of these because that's how much I'm probably gonna be filling. Uh, just so I don't really waste a lot of this. So I'm going to go ahead, get it damp, and come back and start filling my pots. Got my soil to a good consistency, so I'm just going to pack my cups. Trying to make sure I pick out any large twigs or sticks, because that's not really good for seed things. So for this one, I'm just going to make new labels and put a J next to it so I know that these are with the Jiffy Mix. That way when I am comparing, I know. I'm so excited for peppers. We love peppers here. We go through a ton, so it would be so nice if we could get a really big harvest of peppers. And then again, as a first time gardener, I don't know how much plants to plant. I did read online that for tomato plants, they say two plants per person. I don't know the rule for peppers. Anyway, now to cover them up again. Okay, now I'm gonna make my labels. After I make my labels for this one, I'm just going to slightly water everything just enough so it's slightly dripping out. And then I'm gonna go put them on my heat mats and we are ready to wait for them to germinate. Okay, so I realized that I forgot to get a black tray for underneath my cups. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use that clear plastic lid that came with that Jiffy uh, peat pellet starter kit and I'm going to use that for now until I purchase one and then I will transfer it out. Um, so it's definitely not the sturdiest thing that I'm going to be using but it will definitely work for now. If it's anything that I've learned the last few months of doing all this stuff is you just have to be resourceful sometimes especially with living in a rural area. It's a little bit difficult to just go run and get something when you need it. So being creative is has been our best friend over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put all of my little pots in my clear tray and give it some water and then we're going to put it on the heat mat. So I've actually thought about it and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them in this plastic thing because they are on a heat mat and I'm thinking the plastic will probably melt. So I really don't want to put it in that other black one because they're little slots. I, what I might do for today is I might give them a little bit of water, let them drain out and then just put the cups directly on the heat mat and then I maybe we'll go in town tomorrow and get a better tray for them. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, now that I have my seeds watered, I'm just gonna go check on my heat mat, see if they are warm. This is going to be the location of our shelf. They feel nice and warm. And I'm going to put them on. I am so excited for the process to be started and for things to start to grow. I'm gonna go grab my pot 
pots and my little greenhouses and I'm going to put them on the heat mat and I will be coming back in a few weeks to start the next seed. So I will see you guys in the next one.